Hello viewers, today the topic for my lecture is the biography and the contribution of Ustad Fayaz Khan, the twine of Agra or Rangila Gharana, popularly known as aftab e -Mosike. Ustad Fayaz Khan was a genius whose name predominates among all other names of Agra Gharana. He was such a versatile singer who sang the classical styles like Dhrupad, Dhamar, Khayal and Tarana as well as the semi-classical styles like Tappa, Thumri, Dadra and even Ghazal with an equal command. Background and Early Life of Ustad Fayaz Khan Fayaz Khan was born in Sikandra near Agra in 1886, according to some scholars, in 1880. His father, Safdar Hussain Khan, died three months before his birth. Therefore, he was brought up by his maternal grandfather, Ghulam Abbas Khan. Ghulam Abbas Khan was a great vocalist of Agra Gharana and son of the great Ghage Khuda Baksh. Ghage Khuda Baksh had received training in Khayal singing from Nathan Peer Baksh of Gwalior. Therefore, Agra Gharana had imbibed the characteristics of Gwalior Gharana in it. Fayaz Khan's paternal musical lineage too goes back to Mia Tansen. Thus, he imbibed a rich musical heritage. Training in music. Fayaz Khan's maternal grandfather, Ghulam Abbas Khan, adopted him and brought him up like his own son. He started his training in music at the tender age of five and taught him his traditional alap and thrupat singing. His grand uncle, Ustad Kallan Khan, who was the younger brother of Ghulam Abbas Khan, trained him in dhamar singing. Ghulam Abbas Khan and Kallan Khan both were the leading musicians of Rangila Gharana in the second half of the 19th century. Fayaz Khan was also trained by Nathan Khan, father of Vilayat Hussain Khan, and also by his paternal uncle Fida Hussain Khan, who was a court musician in Tonk, Rajputana. Fayaz Khan was also a student of Ustad Mehboob Khan of Atroli, who was none other than the reputed composer Daraspia, and who was the father-in-law of Fayaz Khan. Ustad Fayaz Khan's grandfather, Ghulam Abbas Khan, not only imparted him the talim of his gharana, but also took him on a musical hajj that is pilgrimage of music, visiting all the important places of music, listening to ustads and bringing him the practical experience in concert singing. Thus Fayaz Khan's musical heritage, proper training from the very beginning and practical experience emerged him an excellent musician. Fayaz Khan gained the popularity at the age of 18 only when he began to give recitals in the places like Bombay, Calcutta and Gwalior and amazed the leading musician of that time. His singing career. Ustad Fayaz Khan served as the court musician of Syaji Rao Gaikwad, the Maharaja of Baroda. Though Fayaz Khan's specialities were Dhrupad and Khayal, but he was also an expert of Tumri and Ghazal singing. Once in Bombay, Fayaz Khan got a chance to hear the great Mia Jan Khan, a pupil of the great Ustad Fatih Ali Khan of Patiala Gharana. Fayaz Khan was asked to sing immediately after Mia Jan. At first, he imitated Mia Jan's Multani in his style and then 
he demonstrated his own style both with such a mastery that mia jan embraced the young fayaz khan and highly appreciated him he was also appreciated a lot by bhaskar bua bakhle on hearing such an appreciation he was invited to baroda by maharaja syaji rao gaikwad maharaja was so impressed by his singing that he appointed fayaz khan as a court musician of baroda where he served throughout his life Though Ustad Fayaz Khan had settled in Baroda, but he was always traveling because no conference was considered complete without Ustad Fayaz Khan's performance. He was a frequent visitor in the musical conferences of Lucknow, Allahabad, Calcutta, Gwalior, Bombay, and Mysore. It is said in 1908. A grand competition was arranged in Mysore between Ustad Fayaz Khan and Ustad Hafiz Khan of Mysore Darbar. Both sang so well and for hours together that it became difficult to decide the winner. Nevertheless, the Maharaja, who was so enthralled by Ustad Fayaz Khan's singing, that he conferred on him the title of Aftab e Mausiki. that is the son of music soon after this all india radio lahore music conference entitled him with sangeet churamani he was declared the top most singer of the day in an all india music conference organized by pandit vishnu narayan bhatkhande it is no wonder that pandit bhatkhande chose ustad fayaz khan to train his most favorite disciple asan ratanjankar fayaz khan captivated the audience so deeply in an all india conference held at baroda that showered him with many appreciations and rewards it is worth mentioning that maharaja of baroda held him in such a high esteem that fayaz khan was always offered the seat right to maharaja during the official functions of the royal court it is not irrelevant to mention that rabindranath tagore was an admirer of fayaz khan not only him the great music maestros like ahmed jan thirkwa ustad amir khan ustad ali akbar ustad vilayat khan were all his well known admirers while fayaz khan himself was an admirer of ustad abdul karim khan of kirana gharana all india radio bombay delhi calcutta and lucknow broadcasted his rich voice to the thousands of his admirers and thrilled them now ustad fayaz khan's singing style Ustad Fayaz Khan's specialties were dhrupad and khayal but he had amazing mastery to sing thumri tappa dadra and even ghazal keeping the alap tradition of dhrupad and tamar of his gharana he was the only musician who could hold the audience in such a spell with alap in its traditional way There was intense mutual admiration between Ustad Fayaz Khan and Ahmed Jan Thirkwa the tabla wizard that he could perform in such a magical way Ustad Fayaz Khan's singing style can be well depicted in the words of Sushila Mishra the prolific writer of the book Great Masters of Hindustani Music she writes After the music, Fayaz Khan had a rich, masculine, sonorous, trembling with emotions, a voice capable of thousands of nuances and shades, moods and fancies, turns and twists, a voice that touched every listener's heart. His voice was at its grandest in the mandra.
that lower notes. Its range was not wide. In fact, it was quite limited in Tar Saptak, that is higher octave. But in these two and two and a half octaves, he used to bring out the living picture of the rag pulsating for life and personality. His favorite rags were Darbari, Jajavanti, Des, Todi, Ramkali, Jonpuri, Jogia, Bhairvi, Pilu, Kafi, Bageshwari, and Soni, etc. He had a powerful and melodious voice. His style was a blend of Agra Gharana and Gwalior Gharana. Now, you listen an audio clip of Ustad Fayaz. was an exponent of Thumri. He could express the emotions through Thumri so well that even the famous Thumri exponents During his youthful, Ustad Fayaz Khan sat in the company of great artists like Mojodin, Bhayaganpat Rao and Malika Jan. That was how he had imbibed the romantic Thumri style. He could render dadras and even ghazals so imaginatively. It will be no exaggeration in saying that from Dhrupad to Ghazal, singing, he had full capability to express through any singing style. Ustad Fayaz Khan composed many bandishes under the pen name Prem Pia. Many of his bandishes are mentioned in Pandit Vishnu Narayan Bhat Khande's Kramik Pustak Malika. His disciples Among the well-known disciples, that Ustad Fayaz Khan had left behind may be mentioned Ustad Khadim Hussain Khan, the Central Academy Award winner of 1978, Latafat Hussain Khan, teaching in the ITC Research Academy, Calcutta, Atta Hussain Khan, Sharafat Hussain Khan, Pandit Dilip Chandravedi, and SN Ratan Jankar who was basically Pandit Vishnu Narayan Bhatkhande's disciple and who excelled 
both as a teacher and as a performer. In Punjab, Padm Shri, Professor Sohan Singh was his popular disciple. It is a matter of pride and honor for Punjabi University Patiala that Professor Sohan Singh served here in the Department of Music. He was considered a true copy of Ustad Fayaz Khan. Awards and Honours Ustad Fayaz Khan was conferred with many awards and honours during his lifetime. In 1908, Ustad Fayaz Khan was honoured with the title Aftabe Moseki, the son of music, and was awarded a gold medal by the Maharaja of Mysore. Soon after this, All India Radio Lahore entitled him with Sangeet Churamani. Syaji Rao Gaikwad, the Maharaja of Baroda, awarded him the Gain Ratna, that is, gem of music. Now about the personal life of Ustad Fayaz Khan. Ustad Fayaz Khan was known for his broad-mindedness, kindness, humility and sudden fits of temper that cooled almost instantaneously. Simple at heart, he cared little for the gifts and rewards that were showered upon him in almost all the places wherever he performed. In 1945, failing health due to typhoid, followed by tuberculosis, restricted him to lower his pitch. Though in his prime, he always sang in the high pitch. The available recording of Ustad Fayaz Khan which are by Hindustan records, are almost from his later years. A widower for many years, Ustad Fayaz Khan left behind no child when he died on November 5th, 1950 at Baroda. By that time, he had earned the reputation of being one of the greatest vocalists of the country, and he was mourned by the thousands of his admirers all over the country. The passing of Ustad Fayaz Khan marked the end of an era in music. To sum up, we can say Aftabe Mosiki, Ustad Fayaz Khan was a great vocalist of Agra Gharana or the first half of the 20th century. He was a great exponent of Dhrupad and Khayal singing. He had an equal command on semi-classical styles like Thumri, Dadra, and even Ghazal. In the words of Sushila Mishra, his art symbolized the grand evolution of Hindustani music from the ancient Dhrupad Dhamar to the more modern Khayal Thumri. Thus, in the true sense, Ustad Fayaz Khan was Aftabe Mosiki. Thank you.